Let Yourself Continue was curated for the Grinnell College Museum of Art by Associate Director Daniel Strong for Fall 2020. The exhibition includes more than 50 women artists from the museum's collection and was organized to commemorate the centennial of the 19th Amendment as we look to the future with an eye towards the work that continues for security, equality, and justice. In this video, Art History Department Chair and Professor Jenny Anger will talk about the work of artist Sonia Sekula. Hi, I'm Jenny Anger, and I teach in art history here at Grinnell. And today I'm going to talk about two beautiful works by Sonia Sekula that we have in our collection. Sekula was Swiss. She lived from 1918 to 63, but she spent her most productive years in New York from 1936 to 55. And she interacted with surrealists and abstract expressionists. And we see signs of those two art movements in the two works we have in our collection here. The first work is Untitled from 1946, and it's more surrealist. It shows dreamy, biomorphic forms spreading across the page. At the same time, they adhere to the transversal, so the horizontal across the middle, and verticals and diagonals running top to bottom. And all of that structures and tightens the otherwise loose composition. The other work that we have is titled Within. It's from 1949, and it's more abstract expressionist. It has all over composition and a kind of ethereal space, something like a Mark Rothko, plus architecture, which is sometimes fine and wispy and at other times more structural grounding the whole composition. So these works and other works by Sonia were almost universally admired at the time, but they dropped out of circulation already in the 1950s, and it's a mystery why that happened. Misogyny is partially to blame. The American art world at the time was very misogynist. Homophobia was also to blame. She was a lesbian, and that worked against her in some circles. But also, as I have found, her struggle with schizophrenia was problematic. She had managed it, so the illness wasn't itself the problem. She'd managed the illness for many years, but she had to move back to Switzerland in 1955 for more affordable health care. It was simply too expensive to be treated here in this country. The move cut her off from friends, her gallery, her entire support system, and tragically, she killed herself in 1963. So the Sonia Sekula case um, teaches us a lot, gives us a lot to think about. She shows us beautiful art and reminds us, I think, first and foremost, of the necessity, something important today, of affordable health care.